Hi YouTube, how you going guys? Um, so yeah, this will be my third video. Um, and I want to do, I was thinking today <clears throat> what I was going to do it on. Um, what would be the first thing, like I've done an introduction, I've done a little van tour. And I was thinking what the next one would be. And I was thinking I was going to do it on parking up places. So, you know, you've got your van and... Um, you know, shit, where, where have I got a park? Because I, I think it's something that people would worry about. Worry, you know, wonder about not knowing where to go. Um, I remember when I told my parents I was doing it, and they still say, now, oh, yeah, you could just park at the front, park at the front of the house. Oh, yeah, yeah that's great. That's adventure, that. Park outside your mummy and daddy's. <laughs> I've got a bedroom upstairs. I'll just go up there. But no, I, you know, I stay away from that. But um, finding places... Um, it's, it's easy, to be honest. Um, you've got to play it by ear. Um, like when I was um, watching videos on YouTube over the years, before I got into this, people say you should have a spot for every night, like seven days a week, maybe more. Um, <laughs> I've got like three, <laughs> I've got three spots. And I alternate, but they're safe. They're, they're, they're good. Well, I'd say one of them's definitely safe. Um, say safe you know you, anything can happen any time actually but my favorite one i think it is it's my favorite one um yeah and i go there most of the times where i park i would wouldn't tell anyone anyway because i don't want people robbing my my home <laughs> um but yeah it's it's nice it's nice and where it is it's parking is allowed um so yeah i mean I know people do it a lot in the States, they go to, um, you know, Walmart, <laughs> go to Walmart. Um, over here in England, we've got like Tesco's and Sainsbury's, but I'm pretty sure that they, um, they've got limits of how long you can stay. Um, I know Walmart in the States, they, um, they're starting to put boards up. Uh, I think people are realising, because there's an uprising, there's an uprising of van dwellers and it's becoming more popular you'd be surprised people are living in vans you know people can't afford mortgages and, and that's one thing i didn't want to be doing is paying a bloody mortgage for the rest of my life to get to what 60 odd and by the time i'm 70 that would be the retirement age and then i'm dead you know it don't make no sense to me so i'll live in the van thanks and then i can save my money and choose what i want to do later on in life um but yeah going back to the parking yeah parking is easy you just you got to be sensible um obviously you're going to stay away you know your area uh, you know where you live so you've got to stay away from the rough parts really to be honest i have where i am um i'm in southampton you know i'm in southampton and there are rough parts and there's good parts you just got to be savvy and know where to uh know where to lay your head basically um i'll tell you a fantastic tip actually no one told me but um, I thought, oh man, that's really good, is if you're unsure and you're unsure of your area, um, you know, they, they, you could have lived in this, in that city all your life and you still don't know the whole area because I don't. And uh, so what you do is go on to Google and um, go on the um, Street View map and it just brings like a video up and it's... Um, well, I say picture and you can click frame by frame you've probably done it before and you can go up the street blah 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 blah. and that's a great way to figure out where oh I could sit down oh my god look at that place down there oh yeah I could go there and that's what I've done it's got a street view and then oh yeah and then I'll get in my van and I like I'd write the streets down and then oh yeah it was left here it, oh, oh yeah it's still there um bearing in mind that these street view pictures are like months and months and months before you're viewing it um so you know things might have changed but to be honest you know it wouldn't have uh, it's, it's, it's too much like buildings it's only like a few months but i found that i found that really good just get on there search a certain area put a postcode in comes up the area boom and just follow around and see if you can park um <laughs> where i work in the city um i can't park I can't park anywhere. It's paying everywhere. I can't go in multi-story car parks because um, it's too high, the roof's too high. You know, you're limited. We, if you're gonna live in a van, you're limited. If you're gonna get a low roof, you're all right, but oh, there's, no, there's no point for me getting a low roof. 
I'm too tall to get a low roof. Um, so yeah, you, you are very limited, you know, where to, um, you know, park in a city. So I think I said in a previous video that what I do is I park, it's about a mile and a half away from work. So it's like um, residential areas where there's no double yellows, drop curbs, things like that. Park there, boom, walk to work and then come back and walk back, you know, walk back to my van. Um, everything's all safe. Uh, you know, fine in the van, nothing's been nicked. It's daylight, so no one's going to attempt anything like that, I wouldn't have thought. Um, you know, yeah, so that's all right. And then when I come back to my van, I, I, I'll probably go to my space. I might go to my parents to do a couple of bits, but... And then come back and I, I'll go, go to my usual space. Um, one important thing um, for your sleep, this is... Excuse me, is when you do park up, um, flat. You need to be flat. Oh, I can't stress that enough. I was in one street. It was where I used to leave my van, actually, when I went to work. And I thought, I'll sleep here tonight. Then I can just jump out the van and just toddle off to the gym, have a shower and go to work. Um, I tried it. It was awful. The road, you know, it was a normal British residential street. Um, but it kind of like, it did bow on the corners when it was when it was getting to the curb you know it, it crested a bit and um you know when you're in it you don't really know the diff you don't you can't really tell but as soon as you get in bed and you're getting comfortable and you realize and then you're slipping you do you you, you slip <laughs> so you, you need to be flat um i think any anyone anyone knows that actually who's been motorhoming um you know what it's like I've been to festivals and, you know, me and my mates have got there. We've been off on that and uh, we just laid our tent down, even if it's on a hill like that. <laughs> and I've been laying down, like, sliding out the tent. But obviously, you know, those kind of things that don't matter because it's a messy weekend with your mates and music. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that's an important one. That's an important one. Um, yeah, I mean... I mean, where I am today, I'm in my spot where I usually come on the weekends. Um, don't need to say where. You probably won't know where it is anyway, unless you're from Southampton. And I love it here. Um, you get It's kind of a community area. You do get van dwellers come down here. I chat to them sometimes, have a chat. Get a lot of bikers down here. Um, which they can be dicks sometimes. I've got a story about them. But um, I'll show you where I am at the moment. Let's try not to push any buttons on this phone. This is pretty sick, actually. So, here I am. Right, so there's obviously my front. And as I come to my back window, look what I got. <laughs> it's pretty sick, isn't it? I don't know what you can see, to be honest, but you should be able to see it all. See, this is the docks, Southampton docks. Titanic sailed from Dockgate 5, I think it is, and that was just beyond where near that ship is over there. Anyway, yeah, great bit of history. But yeah, it's cool. You just right by the water. I love it. It's lovely here in the summer. I just, um, I just sit on that. I play guitar, you know, and people listen. They actually listen. I'm actually going to keep this open because it's quite nice and bright. But you see, yeah, you know, oh no, no, I don't want it. Chewy, shut up. Shut up, Chewy. Uh, but yeah, oh great. Um, so yeah, this is why I parked tonight. Um, I've had a bit of crap down here. This is probably, probably, probably one of the little, the dodgiest areas to be, to sleep over the night. But I don't care, you know, um, if I... Okay, for instance, if you're parked up somewhere and you get some trouble, um, you need to know what you're going to do. You, I, I, I've got things where they are. I've got a couple of um, a couple of persuasions <laughs> uh, that I know where they are. So if anything's kicking off, uh, grab it, and then I don't. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm not violent or anything like that. But um, there's so many dickheads out there that don't give a crap about life. And what they do to other people but um yeah yeah so you know know where your tools are 
uh, and know where your keys are. Uh, just try and put things into certain places. Um, that's what I figured, fi found out about van life is that, you know, it's a small space, but you need to know where everything is. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, know where your keys are, and if I've got any shit, I ain't got no major stuff, but say a lot of lads are rocking the van, or hacking at the windows, getting quite aggressive, pick up my keys, I jump in the cab, boom, I'm off, and hang on, I've got you on like a trifle now, and that's why, like, I've, my seats are the way they are, um, just because, you know, I see people, they put, they keep their bulkhead, that's what they're called, isn't it, bulkheads in, and um yeah and they have it sectioned off like different part yeah that's great and all but if i need to get to the front in a jiffy um you know it's it's, it's needed to be honest it's bloody needed and it's not just that it's fires if you've got a fire it's just more exits to get out of you know you know i've got the back doors you know the big doors i've got my side door and then i've got my two fronts i don't want to you need to get out in an emergency or, you know, get to the cab. You don't, you know, some mateys are flipping, giving you abuse and rocking your van outside. You're not going to unslide the door. Oh, excuse me, lads, I'm just going to go through the front bit so I can drive off and ignore you. <laughs> no, that won't happen. Um, I think I said in my videos that I'm winging it. I'm winging all this. I haven't written anything down. This is just all trying to think at the top of my head. And I'm sure when I upload this, I think, oh, shit, I should have said that. But to be honest, you know, I'm just getting into this and I'm going to repeat myself again. Um, so I'm going to drink. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to repeat myself again. So, but yeah, so parking up, it's, it's just um, so many things not to be afraid, really. Um, don't, don't take the piss. Um, you know... Don't go on a fancy street and park out someone's flipping five bedroom house. You can do, you know, as long as there's no drop curb or no double yellows. Um, you can do that. There's nothing against it. But just, oh, I don't take the piss. I'm very kind and sensible when it comes to parking because I wouldn't like it. I mean, I love the LDV. I love what it looks like. But to some people, it's a monstrosity. Um, in that case, I don't give a shit, but I don't I don't want to piss people off. That's the last thing. You don't want to be coming back to your van with your tyres let down or a dent or something like that. Um, you just don't know. I, mean, I probably don't help myself having the van life stick on the back. People, you know, oh, he lives in his van. But again, you know. Uh, so, yeah, just, just be savvy about it. But it's the thing, UK, it's not really illegal. You can do what you want. You can park where you want. You can go outside a five-bedroom house and park outside. You could do it, you know, but just be really sensible about it. Um, don't do it all the time. You're not going to do that all the time, are you? And to be honest, you're not going to want to. I'd like to be in fancy places. I'd love it. God, man, it's getting hot in here now. I want that window open. Door open. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd love, I mean, being in the south, in Southampton, you know, our next door neighbours is, is the New Forest. You know, we're right next to the New Forest, but not close enough to the New Forest that I could stay in the New Forest for the night in the woods and then go to work. I mean, that would be a 30, 40 minute drive. Yeah, I could do it, but... You know, it's, it's extra minutes that I have to wake up in the morning and extra diesel that I've got to spend. But I would love to do that. But it is right on our doorstep. We're quite lucky in the South. There's some amazing places down here. And, um, but they're weekend getaways. You know, I've, I've come here now and I could have went straight into the forest. But, oh, I'm actually quite knackered. I'm actually quite knackered today. Um, oh, I've done something stupid earlier. Oh, 15 minutes this video so far i'll try and i'll try and be quick um yeah stupid this is this is how how kind i am to you guys <laughs> i'm risking my life to give you information it's so stupid i'm such an idiot a lot of the times but i woke up this morning it's a bit cold and you guys have probably noticed it's starting to get cold in in the uk now and um i've I had my hob on the floor where I left it yes last night, the night before. So I oh, put it on for a bit. So I put it on for a bit. 
you know, cylinder bottle and everything and um, didn't open no windows, didn't open no doors. And usually when I cook, I cook in here and then I um, crack a door, let the egg in. I would usually crack the door that I've just showed you out of where the sea is and because uh, I'm right next to it. And, you know, these vans, they heat up so quick you can do that do you know heat up. and that's what people use for heat sometimes especially in the states they just put one of them on heat it up for a bit you know job done um but yeah i kind of laid and didn't have nothing open laid in bed for a bit and uh it was only about 10 minutes i didn't fall asleep i wasn't that stupid but maybe about 15 minutes because then i got up started getting dressed it was still burning and once i parked up and started walking to the gym uh I was like, oh my god, I feel sick. Yeah, I feel pretty rough. I feel, and I felt drowsed. I felt, ooh. Yeah, I felt sick. And I didn't train in the gym. I couldn't do it. I felt like shit. So I just went straight and had a shower. But um, <laughs> on the way, I was thinking, oh yeah, that's why I feel like dump uh, carbon monoxide. So you've got to be so careful. It's crazy. You've got to be so careful. You know, don't get pissed in your van in the winter and then leave that on. You're dead. You don't know, man. You're dead. You won't even know it. And that, it was 10 minutes and it gave me a headache right behind my um, eye. I just felt drowsy all day, felt dopey, more dopey than what I usually am. So yeah, be careful with that shit, it's so dangerous, so, so dangerous. Um, but doing that I think's fine, as long as you're sensible about it and are not a dick. Um, put it on for a bit because you're gonna but you're gonna boil the kettle for a bit you know but just bear in mind you might get a headache if you don't crack a window you need to crack a flipping window uh, the ideal thing is to put it next to a window but where I've done all this on all my windows I don't want to start go peeling that off and yeah I, I need to I need to think of something like I said before this van's a work in progress and I need to sort this out um, yeah there's uh, quite a bit to do uh yeah um okay i think uh, that's got to be it really because it's almost 18 minutes and you know it's another thing i googled yesterday or today that um you know how do you get noticed on youtube how do you get your videos viewed and they're, you know giving you tips and things like that what to do you know your profile picture and all that and it said um when you on your first few videos only make them or it didn't even say that on your videos only make them one to two minutes long one to two fucking minutes long how could you what kind of information can you get in it to give you guys in one and two minutes i mean i bang on i talk fast i, I thought well i won't be doing that because my last video was almost 30 minutes so sorry guys i mean you can skip things but if you're really dedicated in getting into this um it's probably best to listen because I'm going to give you as much detail as possible. And the more subscribers I get, if you've got a question, oh, Adam, um, have you come across this while living in your van? Or bang, 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 bang. I'll talk about it. I mean, that, that the videos might then be three to four minutes, to, you know, five minutes. And, I, and I'll say, oh, blah, blah, I had a question. And then I'll, I'll talk to you about it and, you know, my experience in, in that question. Um, I'm going to have to go because it is, I don't want to, do another half hour video um but i will probably think of something as soon as this starts uploading i will probably think uh ah oh, shit i should have said that but i suppose i can just do extra videos but yeah so this video was about <laughs> probably didn't talk too much about it but was about when i get my van where do i park and i hope it was helpful um again something else we can go on about at another time um Shut up! Gives me shit, this tube. Um, yeah, alright, guys. I used to be able to do it, I can't do it anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna fuck off. Later, vannies.